Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those cotton producing states. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at Tennessee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a little upset with the sheriffs of Tennessee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They thought I was kidding. I actually am not kidding. Um, I did want my sons, and I do want my rights enforced. And there better be a sheriff someplace in the United States that realizes the importance of this. Now, uh, these cotton-producing states? Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, I was looking at Louisiana and a sorority there. Mm. You know, there are a lot of southern states that have a lot of very attractive women mm -hmm. that might like to come to work and use some visualization. I'm very supportive of sororities and the thought of women maturing. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, when you're an adult, uh -huh, one day after your 18th birthday, <laughs> you can have consensual sex with anybody you want. Oh. But it doesn't mean that you're a fully matured woman. No. Mm -hmm. See, I thought there was a reason why young women had babies so that their female mind matures with the infant. Yes. And a lot of times you get pregnant at 20, 21, 22 years old. Yeah. And you're still that young individual that just loves having babies. Now, if you could get me the state of Louisiana, oh, Mississippi, Pope, Alabama, Georgia, mm-hmm. South Carolina, North Carolina, right in here, it seemed that all the black people were complete idiots because of their skin color, or is it genetics? <laughs> it has been said that there's a disproportionate amount of hard-nosed prosecuting of those that are minors, yes, for committing crimes when they're stupid until the age of 25. <laughs> Now, if I looked at the number of prosecutions of those under the age of 18 for adult crimes, yeah, is there a genetic reason why certain minorities are so stupid until the age of 25? <laughs> it's genetics, is that right? <laughs> well, let's say you're a 49-year-old mm -hmm, African-American man that happens to be genetically black. Mm -hmm. Your skin color is dark. Yes. Is there something that matures in the minds of those that are African-Americans? Yes. Any time from the age of 25 to approximately 100 years old. Mm -hmm. Do they have a greater amount of genetic stability than Caucasians? Yes. Do they feel a greater amount of familiar, mm -hmm. as in ape right now? Uh, want to protect their families and defend them in the United States Army. <laughs> now, somebody's making black people more black than they are. Yes. Because of their skin color. Yes. And there's some genetic programming going on because of the genetics of the minorities. <laughs> now, my thought is, yes, your genetics is the cause of your skin color. Yep. Your actual skin color didn't cause your genetics? No. <laughs> but it seemed that somebody, yes, wanted people to be stupider than they are. <laughs> now, Louisiana, oh, misery. Look at the Bible. Bout! Right now, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> it looked like somebody was going behind me when I asked for certain states. Yes. As if we were all going to be programmed. Yes based upon our skin color yeah. and the genetic propensities to have a certain way of thinking. Yeah. I don't really see Americans that way. Mm -mm. I find that if you're an attractive woman that has large breasts that would sit cross-legged, yes, and you'd uh, strap your back to the back of the seat so that you sit upright, <clears throat> considering the weight of your chest, <laughs> and the want of expelling any any toxic gases out of your womb, <clears throat> it could be that the visualization 